Hi everyone. I'm going to share with you a very different face mask. I try it um, to make it and look, it look really beautiful. So I have a fabric here that's so pretty, the Germany Cherry Plus, uh, Blossom. So I'm showing you how to cut the fabric, everyone. So this is like half a yard. If I fold in this way, I'm going to trace the potlet size 7 inch. Okay, everyone, 7 inch for grow up. Different type of face mask. So if I fold in this fabric, I only have a little left right there. And I place the potlet right there so I can cut two. So I have a little left right there. I can't do anything. So now if you do in this, if you fold a fabric like that, if you fold in this way, okay, if you cut in this way, you place the pot lick right on top of here. It fit right in there. Also, you have room in here to make another piece of face mat right here, another side of the face mat right there. You can make one face mat right there. So now, double. I fold it in half so I can get two everyone okay some people don't don't really listen um to what i'm saying and just went ahead and and just cut the fabric and then after they cut they fold it and they complain it's too small so fold and cut i mean fold and trace after you trace the potlet size seven inch you're going to cut it together you're gonna to cut it uh, two circle out so this circle is seven inch okay you don't need to do much on this circle so what I do I am going to place this is the right side facing the right side And I have the line um, online. This is exactly uh, the one that they make for the surgical face mat, everyone. This thing right here, you can watch it, okay? And then you can use it over again. So I'm going to place that in size of the two circle. And I am going to use you know me everybody i don't use the the pin to pin the, the around because it hurt me when i don't pay attention so i'm using the clip i'm going to clip it around everybody so i'm going to clip this around all you need to do is just sew the around the circle a quarter up and then just sew around here leave about one inch so you can inside out the circle okay if you think it's hard for you to take the whole thing out of one inch inside out then you can leave one and half inch it didn't matter okay so now go ahead and sew the line okay let's just sew it it's so funny everyone the other day no, I just got a message. I mean, the comment yesterday, I think. One of the comments. I have to laugh. And I think that I have to share with you. I don't know who I'm just saying. Um, so, came up here and see me showing my hand. You know why I'm doing hand? Because I want to, I want to, um, to do this for the people who don't have a sewing machine. And that person come up and you know watch whatever you know, I don't know and then leave a comment for me it's like too slow I'm going to use my sewing machine I went all right you're welcome thanks seriously all right so go ahead and sew the whole thing here and leave about an inch to inside out this circle everybody okay, so everyone after I sew the whole thing here, not the whole thing, but I leave around an inch and a half. 
sit right here so I can inside out the circle. So inside out circle here, very easy. Just put your hand in there, hold it together and pull. Don't pull too hard. So pretty. I love this fabric, everyone. Okay, so where's my pencil? My chapstick is gone. Okay, so I'm going to find the open part here that I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to press it out. You see, you can use this to pull the side out. Oh my goodness, I thought I poked the side there. Okay, now gently pull the side and press with your fingernail, everyone. Okay, if you've been watching my video, you know, when sometimes you scroll down and you make a comment, sometimes I place my first comment there and I tell you what's going on about the video. Check that out too. So I leave more information what I want to tell you or what whatever message I like to leave. I leave it there. And also it's in my um Decryption too. And so I'm going to use the very low heat and I just go around the line that you just, um, I just saw. Okay, and so after this, after you do this, you go on to do one, fold it in half like this. You fold it in half, you fold the other half. Don't worry about this thing hanging there. We're going to do that after. Okay, so now you can see the line. One, two, three, four, right there. Okay, so what you do is just right in the center right there. You see the center where is the... Um, the line that you just fold, you put the button that you easily can see and I'm going to trace around it right in the middle of the four um, line that you can that you just iron it down just put the button in there just to make it easy for you to sew the line right there okay now I'm going to show you what uh, I'm doing with that line right there I'll go right there in the middle you see this four corner right there okay so now I'm going to get my dressing needle slowly go around a circle here you don't have to sew really close you're gonna lose a little bit so you can pull the dress after okay this I come up with it and I think this is really good for the summer time because you're not, you're not gonna you know put it on the whole thing on your face this is cover good enough to right in the mouth and nose area so you're going to go around here don't sew all the um, don't go over left the other line just go into the line that you can that you just come up with the with the with the knock right there all right when you go in there you go into let go the needle and then you're going to pull pull gently okay you just gently pull you when you pull you going to turn in this side to see if it nicely you go on to you this side facing out so this the one that you doing right now is gonna be the inside so when you pour enough and you think it look good you go on to get your dread you go into the one right there and now you go on to loop make a loop and you go on to tie it right there okay just tie really good right there everyone and do one more time 
okay and then pull now you're done with this you're going to take you're going to cut the dress out okay i'm going to make sure i have the i do the knock on my dress and now i'm going to turn on this side this side i'm going to use it everyone so now when you look in this it's, you know the lies is full all over the place you're trying to knead it up a little bit okay this is very simple if you if you taking your time everything you do taking your time it will come out nice so now when you have something like this okay you're going to see you're going to fold it like this, okay? Then you can and then you fold it in half and then you iron it, okay? So now I have to lie right there. If you want to make sure you can get the pen or you can get the marker or whatever you want, you can mark the line. But I can see it right away, right there, okay? Right there. And now the other line is here. This is really, really cute mask, everyone. That is not going to make you so hot in the summer. Okay, so now you have four. See, one, two, three, four, right there, evenly. Okay, you see that? One, two, three, and four. Okay, they have a lie right there for you. So about half an inch, you hold on to the lie that you can, that you just iron, fold it down half an inch like this okay and for this when you're done uh, when you fold it half an inch like this I like you to have the elastic everyone you cut one straight elastic 12 inch you're going to place it in here a quarter of an inch just place it right in there okay right here the fold is here put that right there okay and now you're going to sew this line in, include the elastic, okay? So let's get the thread and needle, go underneath the line here, so you can see. There, so the, the knock, I'm gonna hide under there. I'm gonna go down. And I'm going to go up. This one is super cute. And now you're gonna go. This is similar to back stitch, but because it's so thick, so I have to go up and down one at a time. You see, same way. I use the same thread as the fabric so you can hardly see. I love this fabric. And I have more requests to do, everyone. Some other requests to do a special face map. So now, you see the first one we did right here? You see the second line is right here. You can look and see right away. This is the second one when we iron it. So now you're going to fold. You see this is the wall and this is the side that we're going to fold. So you're going to fold half an inch. Fold it in. Half an inch. Okay, everyone. When you fold half an inch, you make sure this line up nicely right here. Okay. When it lie up nicely, you can sew it in. Get your dress, go underneath here. Underneath the line. And then you go into, go down all these together. And then go on back up, doing back stitch. But one at a time because it's so thick here. Okay, so now you fold the second one right here. Okay, so now the next fold. You can see the line right here. So you have one, two, and this three and four. Okay, 
so now the next line right here you going to fold again this time right across from the one the first one you see so you're going to place this elastic in there so this is okay this is the wall when you fold it you place elastic under right here a quarter of an inch 12 in everyone okay 12 in elastic and you only need one to go one go to the other so that way that it won't go to your ear this is go over the head very nice when you get into the elastic area make sure you go on a few times up and down right on it because you want the elastic to stay that's not very cool when you wear it and then in the middle of the shop in a, or supermarket it, it fall down it's not funny okay so from now you can see there's another line right here everyone so i have one two three and i have another one right here okay so i'm going to fold the same thing half an inch and i'm going to fold it in now you can see you have a face mat right there forward back in the same hole that you coming out go forward okay so go back in here and now I'm going to back here and I'm going to do the loop I'm going to come out that's it done and this one you don't need the no bridge so look at that everyone so how cute that is so pretty i love it it fit right into your snow area right here and uh it's so comfortable look at this it's go around the ear area it's go right to the ear and look it's snug right into your face your nose here is stand right there and then they have a room for you to breathe in here so comfortable everyone but um, I do want to tell you if the when you fold into four, four and you divide into four and fold half an inch, if you think it is a little big, you can fold in between those four. I mean, so four, then you have the space in between. You can fold a quarter of an inch each in. You can use this same thing, same size for the kit. You can just take it in between these the the two spay i mean the four spay you take it in um, a quarter of an in fold it and do exactly the same in between so we make it smaller for the child okay i think this is benefit for the kid too because it's easy to breathe so, um since the thing is right here is so like have big room here so you can breathe easily so nice Thank you for watching everybody. Please remember I'm going to upload the video at night time uh, about like 7 or 8 o'clock at night. Thank you so much for being uh, for helping me and support me. Um, some of you uh, share my video on Facebook, your face, uh, Facebook. I am really appreciate that and uh, we try to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Hopefully we'll be able to make it everyone. So, um, I wish everybody have a, a good summer, stay safe, and take care, everyone.